This video is for the first time WordPress users. In order to get started with WordPress, click on the top right on the sign up button and then sign up with your email address for a free account. Afterward, you would need to activate by clicking on a link in your email. This account, once you have activated it, log in back to the WordPress.com website and, and then you will be presented with this screen where you can create your own chatbot. Click on this create chatbot button and then it will take you to the another screen and then ask you a few questions in order to build a chatbot for you. In this example, I'm going to build a very simple chatbot pointing it to my own website. So for that one, I'm going to click on answer questions from website. It is asking me whether I want to search on a specific website or to the whole internet. I'm just going to select a specific website. For this, I'm using my own blog. I'm just copying the URL for, from my own blog and I'm pasting it in this text box and then simply click on say hello to your chatbot. Now it is getting our bot ready and it doesn't take long. So wait for it to finish. Now you'll be presented with this screen where you have a start node where everything starts initially and then you have an end node. Now the first thing I always do is on the very left hand side in the small click on small talk and then just alter this thing because whenever you start normally people ask by starting hello or hi so you just want to customize your uh, message for example I could say hello how can I help you out today? And that's it. Just click outside and it will automatically save as you can see on the top right where it is saving our changes. Okay, cool. Now, similarly, if you click on conversation end, you can also just give it any um, message here, whatever you like, by clicking on this add card and then click on text here. In this text one, just you can maybe write on the very right hand side. Thank you. Whenever the chat will end, it will end with it will end with thank you. So just click here, then it will again save it. This green um, tick box on the top right shows that it has been saved. Okay, that's it. Now for the quick start knowledge, this is what we just configured in the visit. So this is all good. Timeout is when user is not responding. Don't worry about it for now. If you want, you can add a card here. Click on add and add a text message asking user, uh, do you want to finish the call or not? So don't worry about it. And then also don't worry about uh, for the error one. If any error occurs, this message will get displayed. If you, uh, But uh, it's a beginner tutorial, so we are not worrying about it for now. So go back to the main where we will be doing everything. Now look at this. What this one is doing, it's Start from the very left, there's a start node. In this start node, uh, all we are doing it is just starting this thing and there is uh, no, no way of really customizing this. This basically takes control from the start node to the check knowledge node. Now, for example, I just want to call it instead of check knowledge, I can call it to questions. Because users are going to ask questions about my website. Now, the first item in this node is no answer from knowledge. So if this will trigger, if nothing has been returned from your website, then if you go back, if just click on the second fallback and then drag it down. So you can see that if users will, or this chatbot will um, fail to get any answer from website, then it will, this line is taking it to the fallback one. In the fall, when it will reach to the fall pick, all all it will do is it will display this message, and then it will go to the next item always, and always will take you to the end node. So this is how it works. Now again, clicking on this fallback uh, text card, the first card, you can also customize this message. Uh, like I am sorry, I was. Unable to get that info. 
you can customize it like this way. Okay, going back to my first uh, second note of questions, just click on it. And then if you click on add card, here you can display any text, image, audio, video, or even a file, or even the location. So for example, if I say, okay, I'm going to display a text. So the text will appear here. And then just make sure you grab it and then drag it upward so that it will second one click again here and then you can put a message as you can see there is a red star with the message it means that it is a mandatory field you cannot leave it behind now click in the main section you see that this text text has turned into red if you hover over it it says that this card is ignored so it means it won't be executed because some properties are missing now click on it to see which properties are missing as you can see, there is a star there, so we need to put something. So just type a random message, hello there. And then, well, we already have said it, hello. So, okay. And similarly, you can add a lot of other things. For example, um, you can add, if you click on add card, you can also add a task, which I'll show you shortly. But let's try to run this thing. Now, in order to run this, you can either click on start and do this play button. It will start the conversation from here. Or you can even start it from any of the node by clicking on that node and clicking on the play button. Let me go back to the start. And then I'll just start from here. And then it just went through everything which I have posted. Let me ask it a few questions. I'll just say hi. In the top right in this chat box so when i set it to high it is working behind the scene and then as you can see it has come up with hello how, how can i help you today so notice this that not only it has uh, said hi it has also asked me i hope you are enjoying this chat which i just pasted here and then it has also uh, said thank you which we um, had put it in the conversation end here so just to remove this, just go to that conversation end in the left, go to standard, click on this, and then right click and click on delete. It will remove this. Also, if you uh, don't want to um, display this, I hope you are enjoying this chat. Go to that note question, click here, and then click on delete. It has deleted it. Okay. Now let's start it again. Click on start note and then click on play button so restarting from the node start and it is still restarting once it's finished it will give you the message of the conversation ended now okay now type hi here conversation started and then it is asking us hello how can i help you today and it hasn't displayed the message which i showed earlier this time cool okay now let's ask it some questions about the website which we gave it in the quick start knowledge if you remember here in pathbirza.com go back to main and then maybe i'll ask it what this website is about and just type it in the chat box press enter let's see what it does cool so you can see this thing this website is about cloud devops and databases go to the website and it has picked it up from the title which is cool Let's ask it a few more questions of, uh, about the content. I'm asking it, please list five LLM related blog posts. Press enter. Let's see what it did, what it does this time. Cool. So you can see it has it has been able to bring some of the blog posts which are related to LLM. Maybe it has found the uh, keyword LLM in the title or the content or tags. Now. Um, let's see an outlier where it would be unable to find anything so i'm just asking it is there any article on dns it says yes there is an uh, article on dns error can you please give me summary of that DNS article let's see what it does now okay so it can't do it now for these tasks because these are generative uh, ai ones for this, you need to use the AI task. So in order to do that, just simply go back to that node, 
click on add card click on a task you see now in the a task i'm going to um, give it any plain english uh, prompt i'll just ask is please find out penis article on fahad mirza.com and summarize it okay so this is the input that will be sent to the a engine so i'll just ask is maybe uh, .com. let's see it, if it works on it or not come here and then maybe i'll just ask it again if it does or not i'm going to click on this start again and i'm starting it again now let's see whether it is able to do it or not cool so you can see this time it worked it has given me this tns article detail from that blog so this is a very very um, high level overview of wordpress just to check how these things work um, how you can play around with the nodes i hope you liked it if you have any feedback or questions please put it in the comment section and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much